The Simon HD5 High Density Patch Panel comes complete with rear cable manager, label strips and icon holders, cable ties and machine screws and washers. Mount the patch panel to a 19 inch relay rack or equivalent and prepare the cable bundles ready for termination. For ease of installation, half of the cables being terminated to the panel may be routed from the left and the other half from the right. Attach the cable management bracket to the rear of the HD5 panel through the raised eyelets in the rear of the panel cover. Use the rear cable manager to guide the cables to the point of termination at the S110 connecting block. Ensure that enough slack is provided to secure the cables properly to the cable manager and cut the cables providing 5 to 10 centimeters extra length beyond the S110 connecting block for termination. Starting at one end, terminate the cables to the S110 connecting blocks. Use a cable preparation tool to remove approximately 5 centimeters of the cable jacket. Then thread the cable pairs into the correct positions on the S110 block following the color code sequence. Make sure that the white wire of each pair goes to the left of its colored partner so that once all the wires are threaded they follow the sequence white of blue, blue, white of orange, orange, white of green, green and white of brown, brown. The cable is now ready for terminating using a single wire impact tool such as the S814. Pay particular attention to the orientation of the tool so that the cutting edge of the blade is on the side of the wire to be removed. Carefully align the tool into the first wire slot and apply steady pressure so that the wire is inserted into the insulation displacement clip and the spare conductor is trimmed. Remove all cut wire ends. To speed up the terminating process a multi-pair impact tool may be used. Again, make sure the tool is positioned so that the head is the correct way round. The Simon HD5 panel is easily able to withstand the impact of multi-pair tools. Carry on terminating until all the cables on one side of the panel are in position. Then repeat the process on the other side, starting from the outside positions and working towards the center of the panel. With all the cables terminated, tie the bundles neatly to the rear cable manager. The cable ties must only be tightened sufficiently to hold the bundles in position. They must not be allowed to distort the cable jackets, as this may cause transmission problems once the circuits are energized. Trim the excess cable tie close to the buckle and turn the buckle in towards the back of the panel. This will prevent hand injury during subsequent cable operations caused by sharp plastic cut ends. As an alternative to the supplied plastic cable ties, VCM hook and loop cable managers may be used. If the rear cable manager is not installed, cables may be attached directly to the back of the panel. Using the raised eyelets along the cable termination path, tie down the cables with the cable ties provided. Two labeling options are provided. The simplest solution is to attach label holders above the outlets on the front of the panel. The paper label strip can be marked to identify the circuits. Alternatively, use the HD5 icon holders to color code and identify the individual HD5 ports.